Hey guys, welcome back to another video. And in this video, we're going to be checking out the Vivi Image Challenger 680 High Definition Projector. And what makes this projector great is the native 1920 by 1080p image processing. So in this video, we're gonna unbox it, set it up, and check out all the features. All right, so let's get started. Alright, so let's open this thing up. So it looks like it's well packed. There's a piece of foam on top and here we can actually see the projector. There is a little box on the side and that probably has all of our accessories. We'll take a look at that in a second. So the projector is encased in this foam to protect it. Let's go ahead and pull it out. So yeah, very nicely secured in there. Alright, and this is what it looks like. Very nice. So the top does have some scuffs on it, but I'm thinking maybe that's just a little plastic layer on top. So this is the front of it. Looks like we have a little cap on the lens here. And the optics look pretty nice there. It does appear to be glass, so that's nice. So on the side here, it looks like we have some speakers and then we have connectors. So it looks like that's our composite input. And then we have this old school input and then we have audio in and out. So if we go to the back, we can see that there's a little filter here and I'm guessing that's to cool the internals. So this should be removable and it is. And when this gets dirty, you just pop it out, clean it up and then put it back in. So over here we have our keystone adjustment and that's the degrees. Looks like that's a IR sensor, power cord, power button. Looks like a light here maybe, VGA input. USB input and the HDMI input. So on the very bottom of the projector, we have one foot here with a foam pad and this foot does extend out. We do have mounts here. If you want to mount it upside down hanging maybe. And in the back, we do have some feet here that adjust also. So you can get this thing very level and you know, set up exactly how you need it. So over here, it looks like maybe we have another filter. Okay, yes, yeah, so it is another filter and it's a much larger one. So that can easily be also cleaned out and then reinserted just like that. Very nice. We do have the Vivi Image logo here and some basic information about the projector. So there is a protective screen under here also. we we'll pull that off. That looks much nicer. All right, so let's go back to the top, see if we can find the film here. There we go. And now we can get a nice finish. So you might not want to take this off until you know you're done with your projector and you're Got it hanging exactly where you want it or sitting. But once you get that film off, this thing looks awesome on the top. It's got like this metal brush finish. Quite a nice and attractive looking projector. So on the front lens element here, we can see it says designed by Vivi Image, LCD, 16 by nine or four by three aspect ratio, TR 1.5, not sure exactly what that means. And then we have our native 1920 by 1080. And I guess that's our keystone adjustment there so and this thing does spin as you can see I'm guessing that has something to do with adjusting the image we're gonna check all this out shortly here all right so now that we checked out the projector let's look at what's inside this box here so we do get a remote very nice that makes it very convenient to operate it looks like also we get a USB adapter for SD cards and other flash drives it looks like there's quite a few options for that very cool so this is an audio adapter to a, looks like a regular 3.5 millimeter. 
And then we have a video and audio composite style interconnecting cable. So this would work more for like older things like game consoles and I guess older DVD players and things like that, I guess. And we do have the power cord here and it looks to be pretty generous amount length here and also an HDMI cable. And last but not least, we have a user manual that's actually quite thick. Looks like it has a lot of pictures and useful things about the projector. Very cool. And also probably what I would like more better is a quick start guide. So this is more of an overview of how to get started and get to watching right away. All right, so now that you have a projector, where are you gonna be projecting this? You need some kind of screen to project it on because if you're gonna project it just on the wall, you're not gonna get the image quality or the enjoyment of the projector as you should. So for that, we have a portable projector screen and that's made by a company called Vankyo. All right, so let's see what this looks like. So this is look like a cloth style projection screen. And on the back here, we can see it is an 100 inch 16 by nine aspect ratio. That's what you want, unless you want a smaller size, but you usually always want the 16 by nine if you're gonna use it for regular media. So it looks like they do have smaller sizes or even larger if that's what you want. But 100 is quite a nice size and I would probably would be great for most. You just have to remember that the larger you get, the more you spread the image, so the less quality and brightness you get. So sometimes going smaller might be a better idea depending on the application and, and where you're gonna install it. Let's open this thing up. All right, so we do get a lot of these little clips here and what they're for is to stretch the screen out. And so the fabric is actually made to stretch. So you can see that it's stretchy. So you can you know, stretch this thing out and you're gonna have a really nice smooth screen. And so this is quite large being a 100 inch in size. All right, so let's find a place for the screen and then we can hook up the projector and see what this projector can really do. All right, so I started putting the screen on and the way it goes is just you stick on the little tabs and then you stretch the screen over. And the material is very stretchy, so you can really, you know, stretch however much it needs. Now, the only thing I'm not too crazy about is the way this thing stretches. You can see it kind of looks like a web, I guess because it's not completely straight, it's got waves in it. So if you're not too crazy about that, you might want to find another type of screen, or maybe what I'm thinking is, if you do want to go this route, you could just get some trim pieces at like a hardware store, and then build like a box frame, and then nail this with some staples around, and then you're gonna have like a really nice pro looking screen, so. And I might actually do that eventually. So yeah, it's quite simple. You just grab one of these hooks, and then you grab a piece of the double-sided tape, you peel one side, and then you stick it to the plastic hook, and then you peel the other side, and then stick it on the wall. So I am measuring off the floor here to make sure I get everything pretty even. So I'm at 23, about right there. Looks like I stuck that on backwards. Flip it around, then stretch the screen fabric on it. And eventually it'll be a nice stretched screen over the whole wall. All right, and this is what we got. So it's not too bad overall. I think I could have done a little better job, but so overall it's on and we can go ahead and set up our projector and see what kind of image we get. Now it is daytime right now, so there's quite a bit of light coming in. I got the projector over here. I plugged it in and it's glowing red. So let's go ahead and power it on. There's the power button right here. Okay, it's turned blue. And there we go. Okay, so we're definitely way too low and maybe need to go up also. There we go. Just like that, we can see our LED bulb is glowing quite bright in there. It might be that we need to go back quite a bit more also. So if we twist this thing, let's see what happens. Okay, so that's focus actually. So right when it looks good, we'll leave it there. And then our keystone adjustments right here, and it looks to be pretty much good where it's at. Let's see. Okay, yeah. So that's what that does. I guess that looks good right there. Anyways, let's just leave it there and let's go ahead and go through this menu system. So there doesn't appear to be any kind of function buttons on the projector, so you will have to use the remote. You will need two AAA batteries, which it does not come with. So there's a little tab here in the back that you gotta pull open and that opens the battery door. And then we're just gonna put our batteries in there just like that. Battery door back on and we should be good to go. So it is daylight right now, so it's quite hard to see. So I'm gonna have to wait till it gets darker so we can go through the menus and things like that. But another thing I'm noticing is that the projector, even though it's already this far away from the wall, it needs to go more. So the way to make the screen larger or smaller is physically moving the projector closer and farther away. All right, so it's finally dark completely and we can really see the picture quality and the brightness on this projector. So I do have it even farther away than I did before to fill up the screen. So let's go ahead and power it on. 
So you guys can see that it's quite nice and bright. So this is what it starts with when it has no signal. So let's just use this Xbox here as the source for the projector and you guys can kind of see what that looks like. So it's actually quite good looking and quite sharp for being such a huge image. So I got the remote with me here. Let's see what kind of menu options we have. Well, hopefully you guys can see that. So we have picture mode there and you can change that from standard to soft. And you can kind of see how that changes. And then to user, which I already played around with a little bit, you can see the, the settings there changed a bit. And then Vivid. Vivid really pushes the colors hard and makes it kind of like all bloated out. I mean, depending on what you're using it for, maybe Vivid would be good, but I think either Standard here or Soft seems to be the most realistic, but it's not as bright. So Standard is actually probably the best. Or the user here with the settings here that I have, mostly the color there is turned down, and that makes it look a, a lot more realistic. All right, so let's go back into the menu. So then we have color temperature. So I also changed that to user. Right here we have cool, medium, and then warm. So they're both pretty good. The cool is not bad, but it kind of makes the image darker, but probably the most realistic. Medium seems a little too much, like too much green tint. And then warm is not bad, but, it, but it's too warm. So I just created my own, which is user here. And mostly that just gets rid of the red and green and keeps the blue and actually looks pretty good now all right so then we have aspect ratio so you can scan it itself or you can set it or put it on outer i guess so i just went ahead and put on 16 by 9 because that's pretty much everything that i'm going to use it for all right so then we have noise reduction so i'm not sure exactly what this will help with i mean i can't tell the difference by changing them unless maybe things have to be moving so I just leave that to off for now. So if you do connect the PC to it, I guess you will have settings there and then you have reduced display. So this feature actually can make your screen smaller by shrinking it. So you can have your projector farther away and then at the same time shrink the image to 75%. And you can incrementally go down to 75%. I probably wouldn't recommend using this setting unless you know you had to have the projector farther for some reason and shrink it. So you're better off just putting the projector closer to the screen than using this option. And that's all the options here. If we go across, we have sound options, standard sound, music, movie, and sports. And then you have user there. You can change the treble and the bass. Then you can do balance. And I don't know if that matters. And then you got auto volume. I guess that adjusts the volume according to the sound coming in. I guess it amplifies it or dumbs it down. So this is our operating system language. It's just English. You can restore to factory default. And then we have the projection mode, which right now it's on the table. If I go to the next one, you can see it's rear table. So it's flipped around. So it's like rear projection. And then we have rear ceiling and then we have front ceiling. So it does have quite a few options there, no matter how you twist that projector around. OSD is off. I'm not sure exactly what that means. So it looks like it's some kind of countdown of seconds. Then you have software update via USB. And that's it. Those are all the settings that the projector has. So it's quite simple and not hard to use. All right, so let's fire up some Netflix and see what kind of picture quality we can get. All right, so this is a show called Moving Art. It's actually quite nice if you like scenery, pieces of the planet and like a nice high definition. And by the way guys, the speakers are right here and they are playing right now, so you can turn up the volume and make that louder. And as you use the volume, you can see there's a little tab on the side there that shows you the volume adjustment. That looks like 32 is the highest it goes. And it's actually quite loud for being such small speakers. All right, so I'm going to shut this light off so we can get a completely dark room. And so now all the light is coming just from the projector. So you guys can see the quality is quite nice for this 1080p projector. It's quite pleasant to look at. So I'm going to try to walk up a little closer so maybe you guys can see the detail a little better. There doesn't appear to be any kind of major motion blur or anything that I can tell. About a foot and a half away from the screen here. And it's pretty nice. I'm gonna turn down the volume just a little bit. So yeah, it looks really good when it's completely dark in the room. Really showing off nice colors and great detail. And if I go really to the side, we can see that that screen is actually doing its job because it's projecting the image even sideways. I'm literally like a foot away from the wall. 
and you know I can see pretty much everything so this is working out really great at an angle here you can see it very well even if you're not looking straight at it and we are blown up to about a hundred inches maybe a little more actually you know this is quite a large screen right now now I will have to say that you know if there's any kind of light of any sort it really starts messing with the image and kind of giving it a washy look. For this setup, you really want to have a completely dark room if you want to get the best quality out of the picture. So if you have a room that you can do that in, this thing would be excellent then. But if you're not able to make it completely dark, you might be disappointed. You will have a washed out kind of a image. Now with that said, if you take the projector closer to the wall, you know, you'll be able to get a much cleaner and brighter image. So I'm gonna go ahead and move it about midway or maybe even closer so we can see what that looks like. All right, so I moved the projector about halfway from that wall to the projecting wall. You guys can see that the image is quite a bit smaller, but we have a much more detailed and brighter image. So right now it just looks fantastic, like, at this size, it just looks amazing. Like I can't complain about the picture at all at this size. So we're about five feet away from the wall. And I think that equates to about maybe a 55 inch TV right there, somewhere around that line. But of course, you know, you don't buy a projector to watch it in a small size, so. But the point to take here is that, you know, you don't have to make it huge to enjoy it. You can make it a little bit smaller and get a better picture out of it. But in any case, guys, hopefully you can see the detail here. So I am filming this handheld, but overall I would have to say this is quite a good picture. And I think most people will be very, very happy with this kind of projector. Let's try out to play some game here so i am recording in 24p which is going to make the game look like it's very choppy all right so we're loading up and so far the images are looking really nice all right so the game has started so let's go for a little stroll in a lamborghini all right, so I'm playing this on the remote, so this is probably not going to turn out very well, but. In any case, you guys can see that the game looks really nice. Let's see if I can change the view here. There we go. So there is some motion blur, but it's actually not bad. I think it's about what you'd expect. So it's nothing crazy. It actually is pretty nice. I would say it's actually quite acceptable. I mean, obviously you're gonna have motion blur pretty much in any game, especially these card games. So if you wanna play your favorite games on a large screen, you could definitely do that. All right, well, there we go. So you can definitely game on this projector and it actually looks very nice. All right guys, and this is the Vivi Image C680 LED projector. So this is a quite a nice option if you are looking for a projector, you know, and you're on a budget, this projector here definitely delivers. So it does have a lot of features and also comes with this really awesome little remote that you can control your media, do the volume here, mute button, and you turn it on and off straight from the remote. So overall, this thing is pretty nice. We're definitely gonna be using it. And I definitely like how portable and compact it is. And the other impressive part is the speakers on this side. They're actually quite loud enough where you can use them if you're thinking about using this as a portable projector. All right, well, hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, then hit that like button. If you wanna pick up a projector like this, then I'll have some links in the description. So check those out. The link for the screen will also be there. And if you wanna see more videos like this, I do a lot of reviews and other interesting things on this channel and you're not subscribed, then hit that subscribe button to see more. And as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.